Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about the 01 knapsack problem which is another dynamic programming approach. Now the 01 knapsack problem states that a thief wants to steal a bag, uh, wants to steal a few bags of gold but he has a maximum capacity given, a maximum weight given that he could carry at one time while stealing. Now the maximum, in this case the maximum weight given here for this example is 5 kg. And within that 5 kg, he has to find out the bags with the maximum benefit. Now, the, there are 4 items, 2 kg, 3 kg, 4 kg, 5 kg, and these are the corresponding benefits of those items. Now, while drawing the table of the dynamic of this problem, and as you all know, all the, most dynamic programming algorithms have this kind of table sort of simulation thing going on. And we always initialize all the zeroth rows to zero, zeroth row and zeroth columns to zero like we did in the longest common subsequence problem. Anyway, the uh, this thing, what we have to find out is that this part of the of the table, the column part will represent the weights. Now, we will, the maximum weight given is five. That's why we wrote the rates till zero, one, two, three, four, five. And zero is always the initialization point. And the, and the rows will represent the items. Now, there are four items. That's why it goes to from zero to four. And zero is always repre representing the initial point. Anyway, let's go with the algorithm. Um, according to the algorithm, this will this is the uh, formula that's given. Um, yeah, so this is the formula that's given. This will determine this will determine the uh, the highest benefit that the uh, thief could get by with within that maximum capacity. Okay, so. And as like like the longest common subsequence problem, the last cell would determine the maximum benefit that the thief would get. Okay, so let's get on with the simulation. Now the first item. Now notice this iteration will go till four, till the four for all the four items. Now during the first iteration, during the first item, the, the thief can only take the first item. So according to the simulation, you can just take the first item and put the benefits or the value or the profit of the first item. So when the weight is one, the first item when the first item starts from when it's when the weight is two kg. The first item's weight is two kg. So here here the value will be zero since there is no weight with one kg. So in the two kg, when, when it comes to two kg weight, that time the benefit would be three. So we put the benefit here. And then when it comes to three kg, well we didn't go to the these items yet. We're still in the first item. So we have to consider the first item only. So the benefits would all be three because we didn't come to these weights yet. So it the thief can only take one item worth of one item which 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 is which weighs two kg and which has benefit of three. Now coming on to the second item, that time the thief can take the first and second item. So when it when it comes to the third item, that time the thief can take first, second, and third. And when it comes to the fourth item, it can take all the four bags. Okay. So when it comes to the second item the when when there is no such item with weight one so it will again be zero and then there is an item with weight two so it will be three now there is another item with weight three the second item weighs three so the benefit will be seven okay and then according to the algorithm if seven was lesser than three then we wouldn't have put seven here we would just put three here we would just put whichever is the maximum Whichever is the maximum, the previous one or the one that we get after putting, after getting into that ith item. Okay, so when it comes to the fourth item, now notice here, the, uh, here there's something different here. It won't be, it won't be more visible here. It will be more, more, you know, visible here. The difference that we're doing. Now, when we are coming to the fourth kg item, now wait. We, in the second item, we can only go till three kg, two kg, and three kg. So the value of the 3 kg weight is 7, right? 3 kg weight, the benefit is 7. And when we're in the 4th kg, 4 minus 3 equals to 1. So there will be 1 kg still left. So what we do is 1 kg, we will go to the previous cell and we'll see if there is any benefit in the 1 kg cell. Well, there is 0. So 7 plus 0 is the benefit for 4 kg. All right. Like when we are in the ith cell, in the ith item, we always try to consider the ith item's benefit first instead of considering the previous item's benefit. 
So if we see that the ith item's benefit is larger than the previous item's benefit, obviously we pull the maximum one here. So the benefit here would be 7. Because the ith item weight is 3 kg, 1 kg is left. So we, we go to the previous cell and see what's the benefit for 1 kg. It's 0. So 7 plus 0 is 7. So 7 is obviously higher than 3. So we take 7. Okay, now for, for the fifth item, for the fifth kg item, this is in kgs. So this is in kgs. Anyway, for the fifth kg item, we can still take only 2 and 3 kg. So when we're taking 3 kg, that time the benefit is, or the 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, right? So when we're taking 3 kg, the benefit is 7. And when we're taking the previous cells 2 kg, previous cell, we always try to consider the, the immediate previous cell, not the previous cell's cell, just previous cell immediately before this one, the one that we're working on. And the 2 kg's benefit is 3, according to the previous cell. So the total benefit is 10. So we put 10 here. Why we're considering 3 and 2 first? Because we have to, we have to consider first, we have to check if the ith item that we're checking, the weight, the benefit of the ith item's weight is greater than the previous one or not. And 3 plus 2 makes up 5. So we're taking 10 here because first when we put 3, the 5 minus 3 is 2. So 2 units still remain. So 2 units we consider from the previous cell. So we take 3. So 7 plus 3 is 10. Okay, moving on to the third item. Maybe it will get clearer as we go on to the other items. Okay, moving on to the third item. It starts from 4 kg. So since it starts from 4 kg, the cells before that will be same. So when we reach 4 kg, the benefit is 2. Now this is a lot, a lot, lot lower than 7. So we don't change it. We just keep it 7 because we always try to consider the maximum benefit. Okay. So when we reach the 5th kg, that time the maximum benefit was here. Again, we can't, we can't take this item because we're in the third iteration only. The third item only. This is the third item with the third weight, with the weight for 4 kg. Now when we consider this, so that time the weight is 4 kg. For the 4 kg item, the weight, the benefit is 2. 1 kg is left. So when we go to the previous cell, the 1 kg weight benefit is 0. So it's 0. So 2 plus 0 is 2. So it's still a lot lower. So we take 10. Okay, for the fourth item now, uh, it comes to the 5 kg part. So all the values before 5 kg will remain the same. It won't change at all. Now, when we reach 5 kg, the benefit is 9. Now, the benefit is 9, but we won't change it because 9 is obviously lower than 10. So, the maximum benefit still remains 10. So, this is the answer of the of this 0-1 knapsack problem. I guess it was fairly easy. We can look at another problem if you want. Let's look at this one. Okay, here the items are... These, these are the items, weight and benefit. This is weight, 2, 3, 4, 5, and these are the benefits, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now let's move on to the simulation. Firstly, we always initialize all the zeroth items and the zero, sorry, zeroth columns and the zeroth rows and then to zero. And then after that, we move on from the first item. Now, the first item starts from 2 kg. So, zero, 1 kg, for, for 1 kg, it will be zero, the benefit, and for 2 kg, it will be 3. And then for 3 kg, since we're still in the first item, we can't go consider these items. So the benefit will still be 3, 3, 3, like before. Okay, for the second item, we can now consider 2 and 3, this, these two items together. Okay, so when we go to the second item, it will be 3. Okay, when we go to the second item, it will be 3. And then when we go to the third item, the benefit will be 4, because 4 is greater than 3. Okay, so when we go to the fourth item, now, again, we do the same thing. Fourth item, first we do is 4 minus 3. For, for, for 3 kg, the benefit is 4. So 4, and then there's still one unit left. 4 minus 3 is 1. So one unit left. And we go to see this previous, check the previous cell. It's 0. So 4 plus 0 is 4. So it will be updated to 4. And then for fifth item, I mean for the fifth kg, it will be 3 plus, well, 3 Oh, first, the weight, like for the second item, the weight is 3. So 3 kg, the benefit is 4. 
So four plus there there is still two kg remaining. So we go to the previous cell, check the val benefit for two. It's three. So three plus four is seven. Okay. For the third item, we can go check. We can go take all these three first three items: two kg, three kg, and four kg. These will be the same when we when you reach the fourth uh, fourth kg that time. It will change to 5 because 5 is greater than 4. So we update it to 5. We're always looking for the maximum here. It's a really greedy thing. I mean, the thief definitely wants a benefit, right? Okay, so for the 5th kg, it will be first. First, what we do is for the 5th kg, for the benefit of 4, uh, benefit of four for 4 kg is 4. And then we go to the previous cell. Check for 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 is still remaining. So 4 plus 0, 5 plus 0 is Five. So five is lesser. So we still have seven as the uh, benefit here. Now for the fourth item, uh, uh, all will be the same until we reach the fifth kg. So fifth kg, the benefit is seven, uh, six. Well, six is lesser, lesser than seven. So it will still remain seven. So this is the answer. Seven is the maximum benefit. And like the, oh yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, understood everything.